Hi everyone, welcome back to The Crafty Author. Uh, my name is Anissa, I am The Crafty Author, and welcome to my quilting slash craft room. <laughs> um, today, we are going to be making a really fun project. And I, I have my mess over here on the side. Um, I am super excited to show you because I'm very excited about these. Um, and I needed to make one just because um, I need one of these for my purse because my lip gloss and lipstick and chapsticks are all over the place. So I'm going to show you what I've made so far and then I'm going to show you how to make one yourself. So the first one that I have made is this very cute little zippered M&M bag. I made this out of an M&M candy bag. Isn't that adorable? Oh my goodness, it is so cute. This one I think I'm going to use as a little coin purse, but it has the zipper on it. And I lined this one. Isn't that adorable? And it went really, really fast and it was really, really easy. And I'm not the best with zippers. And so I mean, for not being good at, you know, doing zippers, it turned out really cool. Um, so there's that one. The next one that I went ahead and made is this one. And this one still has the bottom on it. Now you might be wondering why I did not box the corners on this. <laughs> the reason is, is because there is, a, this is vinyl that you put on top of these bags. And vinyl is very difficult to work with. So there's no give when you're trying to box those corners. So it is what it is, okay? So there's the bottom. It still has the M&M bottom and the cookie recipe on the back. And I just went ahead and put some um, bias tape around the top that I've had that I had. You can see where I messed up with my little sewing lines there. I was trying to put a zipper on and I cut the part that has the zipper on because I wasn't thinking and so my zipper fell off. <laughs> so be careful when you're doing that. Uh, I tell you, sometimes there, it's always an adventure in the craft room with me. Always, always, always. So there's that. So I went ahead and I put a little snap on this one instead. And that's what it looks like inside. I did not line it. I just used um, vinyl on this side as well. So I backed, or I put vinyl on the front and I put vinyl on the back. And the next one that I'm going to make, I'm really excited about it because I really love the colors of it. Let me find the candy bag. Is right here. So this is the one we're gonna work on. We are going to leave the bottom on it just because it goes really quick. Now, if you wanted to make one like this, this size, you would just cut the two, si the two sides off, okay? And then you would cut this bottom part off as well. And then you would just have two pieces to work with. But I've seen it done this way many times. And I have never seen it done this way where you're just using the one piece. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. And we're gonna go ahead and get started right now. All right, so the first thing that you're gonna need is you're gonna need a candy bag. You are going to need a ruler. You are going to need a rotary cutter. You are going to need clips or pens you will need a sewing machine, thread, scissors, um, a seam ripper maybe. If you're gonna need that, you will need a zipper. Zipper. Um, and the vinyl that, oh, and pinking shears. If you're gonna line the inside of your, your little bag, you might wanna use pinking shears, which is what I did in this one. Just to clean up the, the edges. I don't know if you can see at the bottom. But um, that's what I used and it made it look really, really, really nicely finished. 
so for the vinyl, I am using the Pellon 100% um, Vinyl Fuse Gloss. I am very happy with this. And so I bought this by the yard. Um, you can buy, I believe Heat and Bond also makes a product um, that you can purchase. I have not used it, so I don't know anything about it. Um, but I'm happy with, with what I'm using here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to cut the bag. So let's just do that real quick. Now you wanna just cut off the side that's that's sealed, okay? And I am trying to line up on my lines here because I do not want to make a crooked cut. I want this to stay as straight as I possibly can get it. And I missed the mark here, so I'm gonna cut a little bit more off. Just cut off that sealed edge. Okay, and I'm gonna do it on this side as well. also going to cut this top part off because it's got a little bit of a, it's got the little seal thing in there and we don't want that anymore. Okay. This thinner ruler is really actually quite nice for this. All right. And now, oh, I got a little bit more. I could probably slice that with my scissors. Isn't too bright. See what happens on camera? Yeah. Let's clean this edge up. Just a little bit more. I was thinking I could probably just leave it, but it's probably not too smart. All right, so here's what we have. Okay. I am not worried about this part of the, the bag with that going uh, the seams there. So close that up before I slice my fingers off. All right. Next, we're gonna do, we're gonna work with the vinyl. We wanna make sure that this vinyl is big enough and this one is big enough for this. All you do is take your your fingernail and you just kind of roll this piece back and you get this clear coating. You just pull it off. And you're gonna put the non, you're gonna put the sticky side up and you're going to put this face down onto the sticky. And then you're gonna just kind of rub it out. And because there's those little seams there for the bottom half, I'm just gonna push that down carefully. Okay. It looks good to me. And then I'm just taking my ruler and I'm just kind of smoothing out the bubbles, the air bubbles on here, because I want it to be nice and flat. You could use a squeegee for this, a credit card. If you have a Cricut machine and you have weeding tools, you could use your, your squeegee for that, that you would use for vinyl. I'm just using my ruler because, well, it's easy. All right. I need another piece because I'm going to put this also on the inside of my bag. So I'll show you how I do this. I'm just going to take, and I just bought two yards of this. And uh, so, yeah, it's working just great for me. And I knock everything over. Oh boy. 
Okay. So we cut that piece. All right, now that I have that piece cut, I am just going to eyeball this. This is a good piece of vinyl that can be reused. And I'm just gonna peel this off again, just like we did before. And I'm going to put the sticky side down on top of the portion that is face down. Okay. And I'm just going to smooth this out with my hands, like so. You can see there's some air bubbles, so I really want to get those out of there. And I'm pressing pretty hard to get those out. I uh, will use my, my ruler again. Okay, that's not going to come out. But that's okay. It should be a little wrinkly, all right? It's not going to be 100% perfect, so don't get hung up on that. So now you have a piece that looks like this. Looks like it's laminated on both sides. That's what it really kind of looks like. Um, so now I'm going to take this over to my iron and I am going to press it. All right. So I want the non waxy side facing up when I place this down. So I'm just going to place that down because I want to protect my mat and it will probably stick a little bit to it but that's okay it's not gonna harm it or anything and then I'm gonna put the other piece these are the pieces that uh, we peeled the vinyl from so it has a waxy side and then just like a paper side so I'm just placing the waxy side down and then I'm gonna put my iron which is on medium heat and I'm going to just press it for eight seconds on the whole thing. So now I'm just going to take the paper off that we used and I'm going to pull this part off and we have the vinyl is adhered to our little bag. All right, so now we got to trim off this vinyl. All right, we're ready to start putting our bag together. So I'm gonna open up the zipper. This time I'm gonna remember. Now you can put a, um, you can make tabs for your zipper. Um, I'm not going to do that. I don't need one really. Just move all the trash into the, onto the side of the table. This is what I'm talking about. You want to make sure that you have this part sewn together or you have a tab on it before you zing it off. <laughs> it's not fun. I just learned that the hard way. So this zipper is extra long because this is what I have in my stash. So... I'm just going to go ahead and just cut this off right here. And I am going to go and just sew across here and here to secure this real quick. Okay. So, like I said, I went ahead and sewed just straight across right here just to secure it so that when I zip and I cut this metal piece off, my zipper won't go anywhere. That was the whole purpose of that. So, we're ready to put our zipper on. I'm going to open this up a little bit. And I am going to put it face down. The zipper is face down. And I'm just going to go ahead and clip 
to the top of the bag because I wanna hold this in place. And I'm using quite a few clips because this is very slippery. I am also not going to use a zipper foot. I'm going to use my quarter inch foot um, because it has a, it's dual feed and it's a little easier to use on this vinyl. So you can use a zipper foot. I just don't think I need to use a zipper foot. So <clears throat> use whatever works for you and I'm gonna start. to this now. I'm going to just pick the zipper up and just zip down because I don't need it in that position anymore. So I'm just going to continue, whoops, just going to continue putting it onto the bag. And you can probably see, oh, you can't see anything. Well, I'm sorry. I have to be able to hold this down. <laughs> I'll show you when I'm finished, okay? Okay. So, I have the zipper sewn on. You can see where it slipped. That was after I had to open up the zipper. So, now I'm just going to take the zipper and I'm just going to press like that. And I'm going to just go and do a top stitch. Top stitched. Yeah, we're good. Just plain this part up. Like I said, if you want to get real fancy with this, you can. All right, so now the first part of our zipper is sewn on. That's what it looks like on the inside. All right. All right. The bag is sewn together. I'm going to use my pinking shears and just cut around the edges just to make it look cute. And these are the Fiskars brand scissors. I got pinking shears. I got those at Joann's a while back. I had a coupon. All right, it's time to turn our bag. I'm so excited. This is the best part of the whole project is when we get to turn the bag. Let's turn this bag out. Now, this is really the hard part. So... You have to be a little bit patient with this piece of the project because turning the vinyl is kind of a booger. I put my chopstick away way too soon. I need that chopstick. Poke all the corners out. You really will need something to poke the corners out. I use a chopstick. Just a random kitchen chopstick. I'm just showing you because I want you to know <laughs> it will take you a while to do that. And cut that loose thread. Hmm. It still is bugging me. I don't know why. Okay, well, we're going to call it good enough, and voila, and now I have a, a little green M&M's bag. I love him. I love him. Can open him. I can put all kinds of stuff inside. That looks cool. See, pinking shears really clean up the edges in there. This just, I I love this one. I think it's so cute. Of course, I'm really particular about stuff, so I'm sitting here trimming everything off, and I probably should just leave it alone, but, uh, you know, 
life of a crafter. Got to find fault with everything, right? So, and there's our little M&M &M bag, and there's the bottom of it. And it was really, really simple and fun to make. So, I would like to thank you for joining me today on The Crafty Author. We've made three little candy bags. I, they're just adorable. Um, anyway, if you would like to follow me on social media, the links are down below in the description box. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Um, you can click the little bell and set your notifications. You have to do that on the main page of The Crafty Author in YouTube. Um, that's all I have for this week. It was a lot of fun. If you choose to make these bags, I would love to see what you come up with. Um, I have a private Facebook group. If you're on Facebook, you are, feel free to join that. Everybody is welcome. I always love to see what you're doing, your projects, whether it's a quilt, a blanket, cards, whatever, whatever craft that you like to do please feel free to share. We, we just love to see it. And it's a very, very positive place. So, um, so there's that and keep on crafting. I will see you next Tuesday on Sewing Talk Tuesday. Bye-bye.